Uh, find a comfortable seat and get uh, your, your body settled on your block or blocks. And uh, just take a few moments to arrive and be present. Beautiful, as you settle in, uh, let your shoulders open up and your sternum expand upward. And just go ahead and bring your palms anywhere on your body. Good morning, beautiful yogis. Happy Monday. I hope you had a, a beautiful weekend. As we start the week, have a moment to feel rooted, grounded. Have a moment to honor the grace of beginning again. Mondays signify an opportunity to start fresh. But as yogis, we know we can start fresh at any time. Every moment, every breath is a new opportunity. We can choose to stay where we are, to think how we think, to repeat patterns. And we can say to ourselves, ah, I'm ready to try something different. I'm ready to expand, evolve, start anew, try again. Honoring that energy today, bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand uh, to your heart. Feel the movement in the right hand as you breathe in, feeling the belly expand outward. Hold in the fullness of the belly and then send the breath into the left hand, into the chest. Hold as the chest puffs out. Breathe out slowly through your nose, deflating the chest and the belly. Breathe in belly. Heart space, hold, breathe out heart, breathe out belly. In belly, in heart, hold, out heart, out belly. A few more times like this. Breathing deeply from bottom to top and releasing from top to bottom on your own. Take a full breath in, hold at the top, breathe all the way out. Open your eyes, cactus your elbows towards the right and the left and let the palms face forward. Have a moment to feel the shoulder blades come closer together behind the back and notice the way that expands the ribs forward. And then separate the shoulder blades. And as you do, bring the palms and the forearms together to touch. And notice how that brings the rib cage back behind you. Do that a few times in breath to bring the shoulder blades to connect, retract them. And then out breath, 
you pull them apart, protract them, palms and forearms come to meet. Keep going. And out. In. And out. The next time your elbows open up into a cactus, leave them there and then flip your fingertips to point down and the shoulder heads uh, jet forward. And notice if you're, you can maybe see in the, the reflection of your, your camera, if your elbows are dropping down, see if you can pull them back up so they align. Oof, yeah. And then flip them back up. And then a few more times like that. Exhale to point the fingers down, make sure the elbows are lined up with the shoulders. And then inhale to float them up. Exhale, fingers point down. Inhale, fingers point up. Reach your arms wide and all the way out towards the sides. Bring your hands to touch behind your head, interlace them, make a single fist. Lean back into the grace of your own arms and tip your nose up. See the way that gives you wide elbows, structured lungs, deep breath. And then as you breathe out, chin in towards your chest, round your spine, tuck in. And then inhale, open up nice and big. Exhale, round, draw inward. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round and draw inward. Inhale, line the crown of your head with your hips. Let your arms stretch wide and come all the way down by your side. Uh, and then you're going to send your weight into your left sit bone and step your right foot down. So you're level on the blocks and the inside arch of the left foot is still cradling, framing the block. And you can put the point the next left knee a little bit more forward as you breathe. And then just drop your palms. Let your shoulder blades come close together behind the back. Take the left arm, reach it wide and all the way up and feel the lift and expansion of the ribs and then bring the left arm across to the outside of the right knee. Now, pause here, leverage the left big toe into the floor, the heel, I'm sorry, the right big toe into the floor, the heel of the right foot down so that you can then pucker through the arch of the right foot. And then as you do turn and reach towards the back of the room, and follow your thumb with your eyes. Notice your belly here, mine loves to tense up, soften. Let the air move out of the body. Breathe. Look forward towards the front, bring the right hand to the left shoulder and then eagle wrap the arms as you face forward. Hug bicep into bicep and just feel what this gives you. And then just like we did before, feel the level, um, the elbows level. So pick them up to align up with the shoulders, drop the tailbone down. Have a moment here, take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Breathe in halfway. Kapalabhati, exhale, exhale. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take a deep breath in. Hold at the top, swallow in your fullness. Breathe it out, pull the elbows in towards the belly, round the spine. Inhale, reach the forearms forward and all the way up. Exhale, round and pull in. Inhale, reach the arms forward and all the way up. As you exhale, circle the arms wide, bring the hands to your hips and extend the right leg long flexed foot. And then you'll just hinge forward. And you're in a little Arda Hanuman moment. You can bring your fingertips down to the floor if you have space. Yeah, good. And just breathe. The right pinky toe is gonna pull back a little bit to give you more leverage in the, the thigh bone. And then just expand and breathe.
Curl your spine back up, bring your right shin to earth. Even out your blocks if yours like mine slid a little bit and then sit up nice and tall. Send your weight into your right sit bone, step your left foot down. Feel the contact with the earth beneath you. Press against the floor as you breathe. Hands come down by your hips. And then right arm stretches wide and all the way up. Have a moment to feel the expansion here. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Take a deep breath in, exhale, cross the body and have a little twist. Left arm will reach back behind you. Deep breath in, all the way out. Left hand comes across to the right. Eagle wrap the arms. Bring the forearms up to leverage with the, uh, to bring them level with the shoulders. Pause here, pressing forearm into forearm, feeling the shoulder blades slide down the back, pull the fronts of the ribs in, press your left big toe down, the heel of your left foot down, the arch of the left foot lifted, and then press the top of the right foot down, breathe in just about halfway, Kapalabhati, exhale, exhale. Breathe in, hold, press your forearms into one another. And as you breathe out, pull the elbows in towards your body, round the spine. Inhale, forearms, stretch forward and up. Exhale, forearms come in, divide. Inhale, forearms, reach forward and up. Exhale, hands reach wide and down by your hips. Connect with your body and extend the left leg forward. Flexion here. Take a deep breath and pull the rib cage away from the chest and on the exhale, expand forward and come down. Place your palms on the mat if you'd like or fingertips and just get a little spaciousness throughout the, um, the bottom of the left thigh. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Around your spine. And come all the way up to sit. Step your left foot down to earth first and then bring your left shin to the mat. Move your blocks out of your way, slide them off towards the side, and then make your way into a child's pose, hips to heels. So as you settle into child's pose, arms can extend out uh, far in front of you, and you'll breathe. If at any point the music is too loud, please let me know. As you breathe into the back of the heart, feel it expand, feel the rib cage actually expand. Here in this moment where you're connected to the earth, and out through your nose. Always another way. Walk your 
hands to the left and stretch the right side of your body, your forehead down. beside the left foot, right hand beside the right foot, so both of your arms come back. And as you curl up to sit, push the hips forward, just or I'm sorry, pull the hips back, push the chest forward, and find a little baby back bend. Look forward, come back onto all fours. Tuck your toes under and find down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Pedal out through your feet, lift and drop your heels, shake out your head, your neck, flutter through your lips. rises on the breath in. Open up your right hip and stack it on top as you breathe out. Pull your right armpit towards the back of the room so you neutralize your shoulders as you breathe. Step your right foot forward between your thumbs. Look forward, stretch your chest forward, pull your left hip crease forward, and then drop your left knee down. Reach your arms wide and all the way up towards the sky. Cactus at the elbows. Eagle wrap right arm underneath. Press bicep into bicep, and as you do, pick your forearms up, upper back bend. Exhale, pressing into the right big toe around your spine. Pull the elbows over the knee. Pop the back of the heart out. Inhale, reach your arms for, forward and all the way up. Exhale, hands reach wide and by the hips. Lengthen through the right leg, flexion through the right foot. Keep your hands on your hips if you can. And have this half Hanuman variation. Lengthen the heart forward as you breathe. Breathe in the right knee, hands come down to frame your right foot. Lengthen through your right leg. Lengthen through your left leg. Drop your head in this pyramid variation. So your feet stay really far apart and the left heel stays buoyant and off the mat. Expand into it. Exhale to get deeper. Relax the head neck. Rebend the right knee. Pull the chest forward, look forward. Crawl through the middle, wide straddle. So all 10 toes will face the wide side of the mat. 
Hands come down to the floor beneath your shoulders. Squeeze the heels of the hands back. Rock the shoulders forward. Tilt the butt bones high and then drop your head slowly. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Inhale for one. Squeeze your quads, exhale for one. In breath. Exhale, get deeper. In breath. Exhale for three. In breath, exhale for four. Last time, inhale and exhale. Hands to the ground, lengthen your spine. Crawl forward to the front for a low lunge. And just step back into down dog, hips high. Yeah, deep breath in, deep breath out. Move your body forward into a moment of plank and just listen to this plank, listen to what happens to the body. Can you, while keeping your arms very straight, bring your shoulder blades to connect. So retract the shoulder blades, the chest moves down and then press into the floor and pull the shoulder blades apart. And then shoulder blades connect behind the back, heart drops, and then pull the heart up and separate the shoulder blades. Last time, heart dips for a breath, shoulder blades connect, pull the shoulder blades apart, and then send the hips up and back, down dog. Left leg rises when you're ready, stretch it all the way up. Open up the left hip and stack it on top of the right, and just have a moment with the weight of the left leg as it gives you more opening in the right thigh. The left leg re extends long and far back behind you. Lift the right heel and then step the left foot forward and between your thumbs. Look forward, stretch through the chest. Even out your pelvis and your shoulders and then lower the right knee down to the ground. As you contain and hug the outer hips, sweep the arms wide and all the way up towards the sky. Find a cactus shape with the elbows. Let that give you an opening across the chest as you expand forward. And then eagle wrap the left arm underneath the right. Connect the forearms and as you breathe in, stretch your heart wide as your forearms lift you up. And as you breathe out, pull the elbows forward, armpits over knees, elbows into shin, curl, pull back through the spine. Reach the forearms forward and then all the way up. Reach the arms high, hands wide and down to your hips. And then with the right toes tucked, lengthen through the left leg for half split. Ardha Hanuman. Can you pull back with the pelvis, back with the left heel, and forward with your heart space. Free yourself, hands forward and down to frame. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Lengthen through the, the left and right leg and drop your head. Slow breath. Rebend, low lunge, look in front, turn wide, wide straddle, forward fold. Everything turns towards the wide edge of the mat. Toes in, heels out, hands beneath your shoulders. Tilt your butt bones high, squeeze the knuckles back and look in front. And then exhale, deep fold over your legs. Drop your head and breathe.
Stay here and breathe. Last deep, slow breath in. Full breath out. Hands beneath your shoulders, lengthen your spine, and then look towards your left foot towards the front. Pivot towards the top of the mat for a low lunge, and then send it back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Release through lion's breath. Move your heart forward, find that plank. Feel the, the protracted shoulder blades. Lower your knees to the ground. Arch your spine so your tailbone lifts. Move your shoulders forward as you untuck your toes and the knees, chest, and chin meet the earth. Now keep the arms glued into the body as you look in front and then slither through nice and long for a cobra pose. Stay low as the shoulder blades sit on the back body. And then as you bring your forehead down to the ground, bring your right forearm in a cactus shape towards the right side, elbow aligned with shoulder. Bring the right temple to the floor, left fingerprints beneath the left elbow, and then open up the right heart space by stepping your left foot back. Deep breath in. Flexion in the right foot as the right pinky toe presses into the mat on the breath out. Through the middle as you breathe in. And then to the other side as you breathe out. Left side of the face, left uh, forearm onto the mat. Step the right foot over and expand the shoulder and the chest. Inhale as you float back through the middle. Exhale, hands beneath the elbows. Triceps again pulled into the body. Look just past the tip of your nose, tuck your toes, squeeze your quads. As you exhale, press up into plank, breathing out, and then downward facing dog hips high. Right leg rises as you breathe in. Right hip opens as you breathe out. Right leg lengthens as you breathe in. Step it forward as you breathe out. Drop your left knee down. Arms cycle wide and all the way up. Practice at your elbows, stretch your chest forward. You go wrap your arms, right arm on your knee. Hold your forearms high. Exhale, drape over yourself. Hug the left hip forward, reach your forearms forward and all the way up. Arms reach high, wide into the hips. Lengthen the right leg, tuck the left toes to stabilize if you like. Stretch that left um, hip forward, half Hanuman. Rebend the right knee, hands down. Lengthen through both legs, drop your skull. Pull the right hip back even as the right armpit wraps in front of the right knee. Rebend, heart moves forward in breath. Wide straddle through the center, out breath. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Drop your head and fold, breathe out. Yogis, interlace your hands behind your back, make a single fist. Bring the fist first to the sacrum, roll the shoulder blades to connect, and then stretch the forearms all the way up and over a little. Release the hands, bring them wide and down to the ground. Pivot forward to the top, low lunge. Step back, down dog. Plank pose, breathe in. Lower all the way down, breathe out. Pick up your heart cobra. 
downward facing dog, hips high. Left leg rises, breathe in. Left hip opens on the breath out. Left leg long and back, breathe in. Step the left foot forward, breathe out. Move the heart forward, look in front. Hug the hips in, drop the right knee down. Arms circle out and up, press. Cactus at the arms, look in front. Eagle wrap left arm underneath. Pull your forearms high, breath in. Elbows forward. And to your shin, breathe out. Hug the outer hips in. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, arms wide into your hips. Tuck your right toes under to stabilize if you'd like and then pull the hips back, half split. Rebend lunge, find your pyramid moment, the long pyramid. So right heel stays lifted, floating off the ground. Drop your head, even with even hips. Rebend, look in front, turn wide. Lengthen, exhale, fold. Interlace your hands behind your back, opposite thumb leading this time. Pull your fist high, stretch it over your head. for a low lunge. Step back, down dog. Plank. Lower all the way down. Pick up your heart, cobra. Get a little bit higher. Down dog, hips high. Walk your feet forward. Find the front of the mat in a standing forward bend. Lengthen your spine, stretch your heart forward, engage, and then exhale, fully fold. Bend your knees and roll up to stand. Arms reach wide and all the way up. Bring your palms to prayer. Prayer to heart, starting again. Hook your thumbs, reach your arms forward and all the way up. Reach up, hips forward, head back. Swan dive forward, breathe out as you come down. Lengthen your spine, look in front. Hop or step your feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look in front, use your belly. Hop or step your feet forward. Lengthen, exhale, fold. Rise, arms out and up. Prayer your heart. Hook your thumbs, arms forward and up, or the Hastasana. Swan dive forward and down, Uttanasana. Lengthen your spine, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Upper step your feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Good. Upward facing. Hips back, downward facing. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Look in front. Breathe out, hop, step, float, or fly your feet between your hands. 
lengthen your spine, breathe in. Fully fold, breathe out. Arms up, high prayer, or Vahastasana, breathe in. Arms drop, mountain pose, breathe out. Arms up, or Vahastasana, breathe in. Forward fold, come down to earth, breathe out. Lengthen spine, breathe in. Chitaranga, breathe out. Inhale, Ordva Mukha. Yes. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Right away, push into the floor with your knuckles, lift your heels, bend your knees, squeeze your belly and your quads, look forward. Exhale, hop or step, land lightly between your two hands. Lengthen, flat back. Deepen, sit bones rise as you fold. Arms reach out and all the way up. Ordva Hastasana, look up. Prayer floats down to your heart. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Bend your knees, sit low. Utkatasana, chair pose. Uttanasana, forward fold. Arda Uttanasana, look in front. Chitaranga, the Nasana. Move through, down dog when you're ready. Step your right foot forward. Warrior one, in breath, rise, press into the pinky edge of your left foot. Bring your arms forward and all the way up. Exhale, forward and down, move through. Down dog. Left side, step forward, breath in. Warrior one, inhale, rise. Exhale, forward and down. One breath, one movement, plank pose into Chattaram. Gorgeous. Down dog, yogis, hips high. Press into your knuckles, lift your heels, bend your knees, look in front. Lightly hop or step your feet between your thumbs. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, sit low, press the knees together. Rise, mountain pose, stand in your strength. Again, on your own, chair pose, Utkatasana. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Lengthen Ardha Uttanasana. Float it back, Chattaranga Dandasana. Move through. You'll know where to go when it's time. Warrior one on each side. Chattaranga between the warrior ones. That's so that it's you with yourself, moving at your pace. Beautiful. When you finish up both sides, you'll make your way to the top. There's no rush. We'll meet in mountain pose. Stand strong. Arms drop, fingertips reach down towards the floor, big toes press down. Sit low into chair pose when you're ready. Hips back, heart forward. Breathe in, biceps train your ears. Pull the ribs back. Reach the biceps back. Cactus at the elbows. Lift the heels. Hold. it a little bit deeper. Reach your arms forward, flexion in the palms. Hold, pull the belly back. Sit a little bit deeper. Crow pose. Hands to the ground, knees fit to your triceps. Round your spine, look forward and shift forward. As your heels tuck in towards your sits bones. Beautiful. You'll hop or step it back when you're ready. Chattaranga Dandasana. We'll meet in down dog. Deep breath in. 
full breath out. Right leg rises on the breath in. Open up your right hip, stack it on top as you breathe out. Right leg long and far back behind you. Right knee to right tricep. You can take the arm balance if you feel up forward. Ekapada Kundinyasana. Three-legged dog. Right leg up. Step it forward. Triangle pose. Pivot the left heel down. Left arm reaches wide and all the way up towards the side. Press into the pinky edge of the left foot. Squeeze the right claw. You're going to bring the left arm towards the back of the room. Bring it down with the left hip. Circle it towards the floor forward and up. High lunge. Beautiful. Cactus at the elbows. Eagle wrap the arms. Forearms lift. Stretch it forward. Armpit over knee. Deep bend of the right knee. Pull the left hip crease towards the top. Bring the forearms forward and all the way up into warrior two. Tip it back for peaceful warrior as you breathe in. Side angle pose as you breathe out. Right hand to earth, left arm high. And the left arm overhead. Wide strap. Turn through the middle. Lengthen your spine, toes in, heels out. Exhale, fold. You can bring your hands beneath the legs towards the mat that's behind you, or you can bring the crown of the head to the floor and make your way upside down into tripod headstand. There's no right or wrong or better or worse. It's just what you need. Yes. Trust where you are. If you're in the fold, pull your hips slightly more forward so your hips are more aligned with your ankles. Yes. If you're up, gently come down. We'll pivot around to the top of the mat. Drop the back knee, half split. Rebend. Step back. Check that out. Down dog, hip tie. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Left leg rises. Open up the hip. Just have a moment. Let it stack. Left leg long. Left knee to left tricep or take the arm balance. Ekapada Kundinyasana, two. Three legged dog, left leg up. Step it forward between your hands. Triangle pose. Pivot the right heel down. Left hand to the left shin or the top of the foot. And cycle the right arm wide and all the way up. The right hip is going to turn towards the top right hand corner of the mat, right? A more neutral hip. And then the chest will begin to spiral open, perhaps up. Pull the mat apart with your feet, engaging the quads. And breathe. Right arm reaches towards the back of the room. The right arm reaches down by the hip, all the way towards the ground, forward, and it carries you open into high lunge. Stay on the ball of the right foot. Cactus at the elbows. Eagle wrap. Pick the elbows, the forearms up, breath in. Forward, pick the elbows over the shins.
Pick the forearms up. Open yourselves wide into warrior two. Chest to feet as you need. Deep bend of the left to knee. Palms pressed down. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Tip it back, peace. Left arm reaches long over the left ear. Reach the left arm forward, 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 and then down. Palm meets the mat. Extended side angle, Utita Parsva Konasana. Right hip continues to dial forward a bit. Breathe. Right arm overhead. Breathe. Wide straddle. You've got it. Turn towards the side. Toes in, heels out, sits bones lift. Exhale, fold. You can flip your world upside down or not. Breathe deep, any combination with the arms that you like. Try and maintain the hips in alignment with the ankles. Drop your right knee, half split. Rebend. Step back. Plank into chapara. Down dog, hips high. Deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in, full breath out. Walk your hands back and meet your feet at the back of the mat for a standing forward fold. spiral with it. Keep the belly soft. Left hand to the crease of the left knee. Look in front. Come up to stand. Right arm lifts. And left leg comes with you. 
Once you feel steady, stable, grounded, right hand comes outside of the left knee or the outside of the left foot, and you revolve. You get spit out, you show back up again, using every opportunity to start fresh. Look forward, both arms lift. Step your left foot down. Swan dive over your legs, deep fold. Lift your spine, look forward. Walk your body forward into down dog. Plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. As you come down to earth, reach your arms by your sides. Interlace your hands behind your back. Make a single fist. And as you bring the shoulder blades to touch, pick your heart up, pick your legs up, pick your vision up, up, up for locust pose. Legs stay super long and straight. Heart feels light, good, yes. Lift and hold. Hold for three, you can do it. Lift the legs higher. Hold for two, yes. Exhale, slowly lower down. Let the heels hang out towards the sides, the toes hang in and just have a moment to breathe. Feel where the breath travels. And you guide the breath from bottom to top. You can come back into the shape we've just done and you can bend your knees, reach for the tops of your feet for Dhanurasana, bow pose. Wherever you are, when you're ready, you'll lift up. There will be a little bit of, of, of grace that comes from kicking the foot into the fingers, but can you use the hamstrings and the glutes, the back of your thighs and your butt to pull your quads up higher? Can you use the strength of the upper back to pull your chest up and forward? Hold for three, lift through your crown. Hold for two, lift through your legs. Exhale, release and come down. Left arm forward, roll over onto your back body. And step the soles of the feet to mat. Make your right leg high. Flex your right foot, figure four, your right ankle across your left knee. And just get into your piriformis, your outer hip. Deepen the glutes. Deepen the shape or expand it in any way you like. big toe with your right piece finger, step your left foot down, extend your right leg straight up. Bring it wide and out towards the right. Stretch the left leg long. Circle the right leg long and all the way down. Step the right foot to floor. Reach your left leg high, flexion in your foot. Figure four. And 
and adjust the shape in every way that you did on the other side so it feels really good. You interlace, you can extend the leg. As you sit with the depth of the hip, focus on your exhale. Grab your left big toe with your left piece fingers. Step your right foot down to mat. Reach your left leg straight up towards the sky first. Get into the back of the thigh. Out slightly towards the left. And potentially get the right leg long if you did so on the other side. Left leg reaches wide and all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. One last shape before we dissolve. You can rock a little bit from side to side. Eventually we'll meet in Shavasana. I'm going to Shavasana and Supta Baddha Konasana. A wonderful option as you bring your feet together and let your knees butterfly open. But you can also extend your legs nice and long. Choice is yours. Take deep breaths. Let the breath pull you back into the here and now. Return present by stepping the soles of the feet to the ground. Feel the contact body to earth. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, and rock yourself sweetly from side to side. You'll find yourself on your right hand side today. That 
exhale as you make your way up across your shins in Sukhasana, an easy seat. Hands on body. Take a deep breath in. Slow breath out. Palms to prayer. Prayer to heart. Gratitude for the practice. Gratitude for each opportunity to begin again. Breathing in for the sound of Om. Bow your third eye humbly towards your prayer, honoring the practice and each and every one of you. Namaste. Thanks, yogis. <laughs>